Greetings, you proud sons of Skyrim, and Happy New Year. I will elaborate a bit on the meaning of making this video today. It's a special one, it's a bit longer as well. I'm gonna elaborate in just a second. I'm just gonna talk to good old Serana here and uh, Have you made decide. Up I will actually become a vampire, true friends. I fell for the temptation. She I'm was sure. just... I'm willing to turn you, but you need to think it through. She was just you've too gorgeous. Thing you've sworn to destroy. I don't know how the Dawn Guard will react. Turning someone is a very... personal thing It's for intimate. Vampires. Sickening. It's intimate. For us. I don't want you to feel like I'm forcing you into this. Let's not waste too much time then. I promise to try and make this as painless as possible. Hold still. Ah, glory to Talos. Yeah, I thought that she... She was so juicy, so I want to spend my uh, my eternity with her. Um, so yeah. Look at this, Foa. Okay, I'm doing this. I'm gonna be quite fucking clear about one thing with you all, and that is I fucking hate New Year's Eve with a passion. I hate it. Very fucking much. I have, um, you know, not not bad memories in any way, but it's still the you know the fucking obligation that you know you have to you have to do something. You have to find you know a a good party to go to. You have to drink. You have to be you know out and about. You have. And the party can't be like anything small either. It's a big fucking deal. You must help me find my Arvac. Hello, friend. He doesn't deserve to be in a place like this. Arvac is a horse, in all actuality. Calm down. Who is Arvac? Arvac, my horse. We came to this horrible Arvac, place together. Arvac, juicy horse. We were attacked uh, by monsters, he's also so known as that. Run. Please, he's such a loyal creature, and he's been running for so long. You have to save him. A place like this will change you. How can I help him? Arvac! Arvac! Where are you? Arvac, please come back! Come back! Alright, true friend, I will uh, I will aid you. Find Arvac school. Come on, Serana. Uh so yeah, basically that's I'm this is a specially long. I'll see if this is specially long or if I actually make two uh videos today. The 31st of uh, December 2014 um, Just for for the sake of that I want to show you perhaps you look at me and, and be like oh This guy probably has you know a big huge party and is always out and about No, that's not the case like for those of you who know Me a bit better perhaps you follow my videos for a bit longer know that I'm not about the party lifestyle at all uh, in no way, and that's not entirely to do with, you know, I want to make optimal gains in the gym and uh, uh, wisdom gains and stuff like that, it's just that I don't, like I'm 25 now, and, oh look, isn't that Arvac? No, uh, and I don't, like genuinely don't uh, enjoy being out and about, um, you know, in the nightlife. I have drunk alcohol like on on a regular basis when I was younger, like 18 or so. Um, but I don't I don't have any inclination towards that at all now. And it's also the thing with the social obligation. I don't wanna feel like anyone is telling me what uh, what the fuck to do. Like that's uh, no one has the right to do that. So this is my little. <laughs> My little revolt against Mother? that. Okay, cool. Foie. 
juicy. Is it really you? What a meal. Look at her. How do we get inside? We have to talk. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We're here to stop him. To make everything right. Wait a moment. You've brought a stranger here? Stranger? I'm a mind? boyfriend, for God's sake. No, you don't... Sickening. You. Come forward. I would speak with you. So how has it come Hello. to pass that a vampire hunter is in the company of my daughter? I'm actually a vampire it now. It pains me to think you'd travel with Serana under the guise of her protector in an effort to hunt me down. This is no ruse. I just want to keep her Coming safe. from one who murders vampires as a trade, I find it hard to believe your intentions are noble. Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. That's why I'm here, for the Elder Scroll. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? Yes. The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. Uh -huh. What do you mean, Valerica? When I fled Castle Volcahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's bow. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. How does Serana fit in? Like myself, Serana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molik Ball. Ah, Molik Ball, Tradition juicy. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molik Ball on his summoning day. You survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Serana. And why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. If Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, the tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. I would never allow that to happen. And how exactly do you plan on stopping him? By uh, killing him. If you believe that... Then you're a bigger fool than I originally suspected. Don't you think I weighed that option before I enacted my plans? You care nothing for Serana or our plans. How do you know Whether that? Or not you've become one of us in order to survive the Soul Cairn. You're still a vampire hunter at heart. You're here because we're abominations in your mind. Evil creatures that need to be destroyed. Serana, this stranger aligns himself with those that would hunt you down and slay you like an animal. Yet I should entrust you to him. This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known him than you've done in centuries. Ah, oh, sickening. Dear you tell her, girl. I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father. Yes, he's a fanatic. He's changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? Serana, if you'd only open your eyes the moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, I'm still just a pawn to you too. I want us to be a family again. They um, they interrupted my speech, that. but that's fine. It's Maybe cool. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us, but we have to stop him before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Serana. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. If you want it's the cool. Elder it's Scroll, it's cool. It's fine. It's yours. 
Your intentions are still somewhat I just want to, um, to smash your daughter because you she's beautiful. I, I want to wreck her. Yes. I've kept it Sickening. safe and secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. All right, then. Then I will do it. What do we need to do? You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. Ah, destroy the keepers. We'll return soon. One more word of warning. Cheerio. There's a dragon that calls itself Dernevir roaming the cairn. Be wary of him. I will. The ideal masters have charged him with overseeing the keepers. And will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. The ideal masters. Sickening. And keep my daughter safe. I will. Uh, I will, mother-in-law. I will. Um, all right. True friends, let us... Oh, that must be a tower there. Let us consult the map. Hmm, not much use. Okay, I'm just gonna run like this. Yeah, I I was um, going to commence my uh, my little reasoning. Yes, so this this video is dedicated to everyone who's watching this and who are feeling the same way. You know that New Year's Eve is a fucking mess and pain, and uh, you know the obligation. Of finding a part that destroys everything that could have been fun with it. Um, so for me, New Year's Eve has... I've basically had like... At, at most, two or three good New Year's Eves. Otherwise, I've just felt like... The, uh, yeah, the obligation and, uh, and stress about it. But now, unfortunately, in a position where I can hang out with my true friends in Skyrim instead. Uh, and I know that a lot of guys, and hopefully, well, perhaps not hopefully, but some of you will also be in that situation. Uh, so you can feel that, you know, the mighty golden one um, is, um, is also, you know, feeling that would rather hang out in Skyrim and become a vampire than... Oh, look at that. Than in all actuality be out and about. And if anyone is new to the channel, I am in all actuality... I'm not like completely non-alcoholic because I can drink, you know, a beer or uh, champagne or anything like that. Or a glass of wine, but they would never get drunk. Like uh, that's uh, that's not worthy of me to get drunk. Wow! Fuck! Look at that. Shut your insolent mouth! You're but a dog, and I'm your. Ah! Oh, fuck. Oh, ha ha. Let's uh, look at the potions. Let us look. Oh. Ghostly remains. Oh, look at that. Sickening. Uh, yeah, so that's basically what I'm doing Like with alcohol. I, I sense it more as a cultural thing. So obviously if I'm in you know, Germany, I can have a Kölsch. Or if I'm in good old Ireland, I will have um, a Guinness. Or if I'm in... Um, uh, yes, you know, I can I can view it as such or accompanying food, but uh, going out just for the drinking is um, it's not something that is sustainable for my lifestyle. And you know, getting drunk and stuff, um, I have you know I don't really have any problems per se, but uh, I have lots of things to do, and I know that getting drunk will only add to the list of uh, you know. It's more uh, worse things than that can happen than good things, so I I tend to not uh, not even be bothered with it. And then again, like 
as it is right now. Is that actually something we can jump into? Done and done. Yeah, as it is right now, I uh, I only really want to to be with my fair maiden either way. So, um, so then um, you know, a, a part of the it won't really do much for me. So. That was the uh, the explanation. So I want you to feel when you watch this right now that um, that you are in all actuality hanging out with the golden one in Skyrim. Uh, and I've promised to make a video on this for so long now, and I will probably make a regular, you know, talking video log about it. But. Um, I, c I might talk about it here as well right now. Why gaming is such importance to me is like um, took a sip of glorious Lindvall's coffee there. Is that I've always liked the game, and sometimes it f it's felt that like oh you should probably be out, um, you know, out partying, out being social instead. Of, uh, of gaming too much. That was the case in my youth, and I know my my parents were on me a bit like, oh, you know, you you're too much at the computer and stuff like that. Uh, and I felt quite stupid sometimes because my brother was always out and about, you know. Um, oh, what are you doing this weekend? He was like, oh, I'm gonna go to this party and that party. And I was like, oh, I'll get, I'll probably game. Um, then like. My mates and I had a great crew back then. They were also gamers, so um, so we still had like um, a, a good crew, as it were. Wow! Shut your insolent mouth! That's exactly how it goes if you stand against the Chosen of Talos. Now then, now then, come on, come on, come on. Ah, haha. Sickening. That felt, uh, that felt good as fuck. So yeah, what I was saying, had a good crew. We played, uh, we actually had quite some LAN parties, like great friends, great, uh, great crack in, uh, in, in my teens right there. But at the same time, you, you wanted to be, um, you know, cool and be out and about as well. But now I'm in a position where I I decide more myself what. Shut your insolent mouth! Ah oh, fuck! And hopefully, my point with that little um, <laughs> little speech was: I hope I can, you know, show some guys that. You can indeed, you know, spend your fair share in front of the computer yet become really glorious, um, and you know, successful socially and stuff like that. Ah, come on! I had too little stamina to do anything properly there. Um. Yeah, so that is actually what is up with um, like gaming, and then also like uh, if you're gonna be as big as possible, like muscular-wise, uh, then being out and about, drinking alcohol, having that as a as a part of your life, that so that won't simply just won't work. Um, I mean, you can ask basically anyone who is built and jacked, like they. Um, you can't have alcohol as a part of your life. Sure, you can have it as, you know, for the cultural aspect and stuff like that, but you can't be out getting drunk. That's just not doable. Like then, oh, look at that. A true horse. Greetings, horse. Hi. Uh, then, obviously, I know some, some guys that are quite big. 
that you know drink alcohol but they can't succeed with their um, with their cut so they are like big and bulked and they struggle with it to try to stop but um, that is what oh fuck it's standing in the way I thought I dodged that and uh, where is Serana in all actuality Now we are out on thin ice. Um, what can we have? Oh, plentiful healing. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run and hide. I'm gonna take another potion. And also, if you can make gaming into a social activity that you can do instead of getting getting shit-based during the weekends, that will be beneficial towards your gains. But then, like, try to... Oh, try to uh, develop your social skills either way, because there is... Y like, I'm gonna be quite clear, you can't be one of those, if you wanna be successful in life, you can't be one of those bodybuilders that only care about their games, only go to the gym. So you have to work on your social skills as well. But, you don't have to do that when uh, when going out drinking. Like, there are plenty of opportunities to work on your um, social skills either way. Sure, you will be at a bit of a disadvantage if you... Uh, If you like never drink, but um, sometimes you have to, you know, accept accept that if you want to acquire the furthest amount of glory. So basically, look at social um, gatherings more, more like uh, eating food and stuff like that instead of instead of drinking. That is my advice right there. But now it's. New Year's Eve, and I hate it with a passion. It reminds me of all the all the blasphemous times where I had like the uh, <laughs> the fucking pain of uh, figuring out something, something cool to do. And as I said, I only had like a few New Year's Eves that has been uh, you know successful. Hello, Valerica. What's what's the crack, fair maiden? Are you fighting someone? Who are you fighting exactly? Come on then. You managed to destroy all three keepers? With the help of your daughter. Very impressive. Thank you very much. Yes. Please follow me. I will follow Watch your lead. Greetings. With the prison's barrier down, he's almost certain Hello, to Hello gorgeous. Follow Valerga. Hello fair maiden. Look how, uh, look how juicy fucking graphics of Skyrim is, um, is sickening. Ah, an alchemy table, how quaint. Open boneyard. Look, there's a, there's a vampire hench guy. And then, as I've said, I believe sometime at least, Skyrim is, um, it came in November 2011, which was also, uh, like, my, um, one of the best training or gym or, uh, bodybuilding, He's here. Defend uh, yourselves. periods I've had, and I also felt a bit... You know, down as it were, and that Skyrim helped me greatly. You know, get on track. Um, like cop on in in school and uh, and we training. So shut your insolent mouth. Oh. 
so that's why I fucking love Skyrim. I do. Now then, come at me, you insolent dog. Hello, Bowman. Juicy. Okay, I'm gonna roam freely to kill some. Ah, oh. the bone men uh, were really bad, uh, but that's fine. That's cool. Hello, mate. For the glory of Talos. Talos, I love you. I, I love my crossbow. Oh. Perhaps the, the curse he threw on me was that I, I don't regenerate uh, stamina as as. Well. Hold on, fair maiden. I will save you. Ah! Death and glory. Hello, main. Oh, look. Doing crazy amount of damage. Ah! In, in close combat. I'm gonna search him before. Don't they search him? Why? Oh well. Hello, mother-in-law. How are we today? Give my astonishment, but I never thought I'd witness the death of that dragon. What makes you say that? Volumes written on Dernivir allege that he can't be slain by normal means. But I'm dragonborn. It appears they were mistaken. Fucking yes. Go on. The Go on, fair maiden. The dragon is as resilient as its owner's scaly hide. It's possible that your killing blow has merely displaced Dernivir's physical form while he reconstitutes himself. Quite so. How long will that take? Minutes? Hours? Years? I can't even begin to guess. I suggest we don't wait around to find out. Now, let's get you the Elder Scroll and you can be on your way. Mark, he's leading us to the scroll. Alrighty then. Let us do it in all actuality. Ah, look at this. Vigorous healing. I'm gonna take all of this. What did you bonus. want? Ah. Sickening. That's the last scroll. Come on, let's take it to Dexian. Now that you've retrieved the Elder Scroll, you I have no choice. As I told you before, I'm a daughter of Cole Harbor. That must be insanely boring to be stuck here all alone in this realm. I appreciate your concern for me, but Serana is all that I care about. You must keep her safe at all costs. I I can confirm I will do this in all actuality. No matter what he promises, he'll deceive you in order to get what he wants. And promise me you'll keep my daughter safe. She's the only thing of value I have left. I promise. I promise you this. Return to Tamriel. Okay, we'll have to perform a little a little sprint. Goodbye, dear old place. And then my first encounter with the Elder Scrolls series was when um, I actually bought it as a Christmas gift for my dear uh, brother. Stay your weapons. I would speak with you. Ah, look I... at that. Uh, greetings. I thought you were dead. Cursed, not dead. Doomed to exist in this form for eternity. Trapped between Laas and Enoch. 
between life and death. I believe in civility among seasoned warriors, and I find your ear worthy of my words. Sickening. My claws have rendered the flesh of innumerable foes, but I have never once been felled on the field of battle. I therefore honor name you Quanarin, or Vanquisher in your tongue. Fucking uh, juicy title of glory. I found you equally worthy. Your words do me great honor. Indeed. My desire to speak with you was born from the result of our battle, Quanarin. Juicy. I merely wish to respectfully ask a favor of you. What kind of a favor? For countless years I've roamed the Soul Cairn in unintended service to the Ideal Masters. Before this, I roamed the skies above Tamriel. I desire to return there. I fear that my time here has taken its toll upon me. I share a bond with this. Strange I will uh, sever place. this uh, this blasphemous bond. If I ventured far from the Soul Cairn, my strength would begin to wane until I was no more. How could I help? I will place my name with you and grant you the right to call my name from Tamriel. All right, then. Do me this simple honor, and I will fight at your side as your Graze Mazen, your ally, and teach you my thum. Sickening. Trivial in your mind, perhaps. For me, it would mean a great deal. I don't require an answer, Quinarin. Simply speak my name to the heavens when you uh, let us do this, true friends. Right. Because we um, we're all uh, brothers in bonds now. Um, yes, the I bought it like 2008, or if it was 2007. Yeah, the December, like Christmas 2007, I bought uh, because he had a PlayStation, my brother. Back when we both lived um, lived home when we were younger, and um, then I saw it like in the in the game shop and I was like, "Wow, this game is looking uh, quite cool." And then uh, then we began playing it like together, uh, or like taking turns on it, and both uh, of us were hooked on Oblivion, so like this uh, the the fourth Elder Scrolls games. And we had uh, fucking epic times, you know. It's and it's just such a great game with a level of coziness and immersion. So I really like, love even Oblivion. And then, all, then when we saw the Skyrim was coming out, and we saw the graphics, both like Fua Mirin, and we're really excited for that. And then I also played Elder Scrolls Online, only one month, in all actuality, uh, last April. It was uh, a good enough game, I suppose, but, um, you know, I don't, I have quite a bit of expenses as it is, so I can't be, um, you know, pay the monthly fee for it. Especially when there's a lot of other games that I would like to to play. Where... Uh, hello, Serana. Yes? What is in all actuality... Ah, Dexion. Okay. Alright then. Let's go to Vexion. No, Dexion. But perhaps we can't even get into that's in for dawn god and now they see that i'm a vampire okay this will be interesting 
<laughs> I have no idea how this will um, this will uh, turn out. Oh fuck! Oh well, let's try it. Let us try it. Talos. Hello, Dexion. I trust your journey was. I'm sorry, my friend. I can no longer be of use in this. Why? Matter. Why? What has happened? It's my fault. In my haste to read the first scroll, I neglected the careful preparation. Required. Ah, now I thought I'd be able to allay the after effects, but I was wrong. Now I am paying for it. Blind? Yes, I'm afraid so. Foi. Can anything be done to help you? No. It will have to run its course. And there's always the chance I may never recover. Then we're finished. No, there is another way. The question is, how much are you willing to risk to find Oriole's bow? Everything. What do I need to do? I can't guarantee you'd be free from harm. Becoming blind could be the least of your worries. Scattered across Tamriel are secluded locations known only as Ancestor Glades. There's one in Skyrim. Ah, in sickening. Forest. Let us um, head on the over there. of the Ancestor Moth within the Glade should provide the answers you seek. Explain this ritual. It involves carefully removing the bark from a canticle tree, which will in turn attract Ancestor Moths to you. Once enough of the Moths are following, They'll provide you with the second sight needed to decipher the scrolls. Ah, how, uh, how quaint. In keeping with tradition, you must use a specific tool in the Ancestor Glade, an implement known as a draw knife. Every moth priest is taught this ritual, but few ever get the chance to perform it. You should consider yourself fortunate if it works for you. Glorious. Do I need to read the scrolls in any particular order? From what I saw in the vision, the Elder Scroll which foreshadows the defiance of the gods with the blood of mortals is the key to the prophecy. Good luck. Alright, come on, Serana, let us uh, let's escape from this place before... Um, before we are... Uh, oh, fuck. Before we're caught. Let us fast travel to Helgen and have a little cardio session. Perhaps not. That's not the the wisest thing to do, considering uh, we're both vampires. Be out running like this. So yeah, but uh, yeah, I didn't actually think to uh, to become a vampire. I was gonna stay mortal, but then I was like, "Fuck everything! I am gonna be a vampire with Serana." Can I get over here? No. Hmm. How, uh, how silly that I can't get over there. And I suppose that... <laughs> the reason I, I became a vampire was that I'm, I'm a bit... Heart sick right now. Uh, and it's cool because when I when I talk in this video, I know only the truest of friends will uh, will hear this. So uh, so then I can be a bit more open-minded with my feels and stuff. And obviously, as I said in the in the last episode, and I've probably said it a thousand times, it feels like now that I obviously miss my fair maiden. And she, my fair maiden, obviously, if you've seen a picture of her, she has a dark hair and pale skin and blue eyes, just like Serana. So I'm a bit weak for her, as it were. Uh, if you haven't seen any pictures, she is in my 12,000 calorie video, 
and then also some pictures on both my Facebook and Instagram. Uh, so that is uh, what is up in all actuality. And also, talked a bit with the loyal one, uh, who is a true friend from Singapore. We talked a bit. Greetings, by the way, the loyal one. Uh, your support means uh, means a lot. And he was like, oh, I see my fair maiden every, like, three months. And I was like, foa, that, that, must be, uh, that must be hard. So I realized that I'm no one to complain about missing my girl. So that's basically the reasoning behind me becoming a vampire, that, that, that I miss my girl. And my girl reminds just a bit of uh, Serana. There is an enemy somewhere. Hello, mate. Oh, that's exactly how it goes. Oh. Oh, per no, fuck, I missed him. I missed him. How uh, silly. I thought I got them both, but it's quite dark. No, a vampire? That, uh, that was not good at all. Where in the actual fuck is Serana? Serana, come on then, help me. Perhaps it was a mistake to, uh, to be too friendly. With, uh, with Serana, if he's gonna betray me like that. Okay, what do we got, True Fringe? What do we have? Restore stamina. Oh, there you are. Vampire Mistwalker. That sounds... Uh... Alright, now is the time. Talos, I love you! One more time. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Vampire Mistwalker, that can be dangerous. I'm gonna load up with some potions. Restore stamina. And also minor stamina. Do we have any. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. I need some. Oh, no. Shut your insolent mouth. Ah! Oh. That felt good as fuck. I'm sorry we couldn't see that though. It would have been cool to see the execution. Execution, yes. But, uh. We'll, I'm sure we'll have another cool execution yes in this very episode hopefully look at the sky though that is sickening as fuck and we're nearing the destination here can't really see much but we're soon there hmm Hmm. <laughs> Might it actually be this way? Let's consult the map. Okay, let's let's wait a bit so we can see the path properly, and then I can actually take clairvoyance to um, to illuminate the path. The path. I mean. All right. Clairvoyance. Clairvoyance, yes. Okay, we have to run around there. And we're both vampires, so it's not a good thing for us to be here out in the open like this. Ah, there we are. 
sickening. And I might mention it before that obviously vampire films are highly glorious. Have been a bit tainted by the Twilight trilogy. Or if it's four films, I don't know. Um, but like that doesn't mean that the, the previous films, like The Queen of the Damned is really good. Wow, look at this gorgeous place. It's highly, highly sickening. Uh, yeah, that's a good film. And then, uh, wow. So basically, my little point is that uh, there are a lot of cool vampire films. Such a glorious tree. I lacked a proper item. What in actual fuck? Ah, good. I thought we had to go back to to Fort Dawn God again, and I don't want to be there too much before they realize my treachery. Ancestor moth swarms. Okay, let us uh, let's find them where they are. Is this uh... ah brilliant? They are mirroring my gains, in all actuality. I'm gonna make these guys mire my gains as well. Myron. Do we have anything here? No. Alright then. Such uh, such beautiful ancestor moths. They are uh, they are cuddly, cuddly and cute. Four. And here we have another one. There we are. Excellent. And we have another one right here. And since it's only the truest of true friends who are watching this video, I'm gonna tell you another little secret like I did... Uh, like I did... Uh, Last time. Blood, okay. That I actually feel a bit in my legs. I haven't squatted in a while because, as you know, I've been a bit uh, hurt. But I squatted lightly yesterday and I can feel in the legs. It feels good, actually. What is going on here? Help me! Oh yeah, I remember. It's a map of uh, Skyrim. Sickening. And uh, with a location. Ah, oh, look at that. A glorious vision of the past. Okay, speak to Serana. Where are you, girl? Ah, oh, there you are. Hello, gorgeous. Are you okay? Almost thought I lost you there. I am. Um, not as white as the snow. I became a pale orc. Don't worry, I'm fucking fine. I never trusted those damn scrolls. Who knows what those things could have done to you? Just look at Dexian. Dexian became mad bow? by Do you greed. Know where we can find it? Then it's almost over. We can finally put an end to this ridiculous prophecy. Where is this Darkfall cave? Then let's get going. I want to get there before my father has a chance to track us down. Let us do it. If I'm not mistaken, I think we're gonna get ambushed here. In all actuality. So... Let us see if we can... Ah, there we are. We have visitors. Okay, come at me then. Come at me, bro. What? Those are vampires as well. Shut your insolent mouth! Oh. 
That's exactly how it goes. You foolish vampires. How dare you talk to me like that? Okay, come at me then. Ah, look at that. Are you are you trying to run from me? You're a master master vampire, um, even. Okay, let's um God, I need to go buy some more potions. So I don't end up in this. Oh. That was quite easy to slay a master vampire like that. What? Oh, a blooded vampire. Talos, I love you! There we are. Alright, now we're gonna escape from this this actually glorious place. And here we are. And then we're gonna find Ariel's bow. Which will be highly sickening in all actuality. Oh. Alright, that will have to conclude this episode. I will uh, I will make another episode as well. Uh, we've got two New Year's Eve episodes, so if you feel like, oh, fuck everything, I hate New Year's Eve and everything, you can hang out with me in Skyrim, because I am your true friend, in all actuality. So, I uh, hope you watch the other episode as well. And who am I? I'm the Vampire of Glory. XOXO, BOOM!